Hey all, and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Quick clarification, uh, I mentioned that if you do all the stuff in Herbology, you get a famous Witches and Wizards card. Turns out it's if you do all the stuff in Herbology and all the stuff in Defense Against the Dark Arts as well. So you got to get all the cups, and I believe you get Godric Gryffindor's card, but uh, just wanted to make sure, you know, we're on the level with you that. So, you don't turn me into the game FAQ's authorities, and they're like, no, you did a thing wrong, you said a thing wrong, I'll remember this forever, but now Jesus. is time for Quidditch. I know, they're terrible. They killed a guy once. This really is the 2E2 Philosopher's Stone's banjo. What the fuck did he mean by that? I don't... <laughs> I was trying to say that more collectibles, more problems, but I, I may have lost myself there a little bit. That, that is a good way of describing Tui, honestly, because uh, I don't think it has near the same amount of, um, shall we say, dignity as Kazooie. It kind of let it all hang out, so to speak. And uh, I usually get the release date of DK64 and Tui confused, but I'm pretty sure DK64 came first, so maybe tu maybe Tui was just them raining things in a little bit, who knows? I suspect so. It's so hilarious, the two commonly most uh, messed up statistical points, the release of Banjo and the release of Donkey Kong 64, like just very common, easily not like Hello, easy knowledge Walter. there that people mess up just all the time. You. Maybe this year I'll have some luck. Could you mention me to Oliver Wood? You are the Gryffindor seeker after all. Try to uh, put a bit of nepotism in. Not gonna do that, sorry. Guys, remember, even though Harry Potter is, you know, the chosen one and also the richest boy, he's also a social outcast, but he's also Sports Chad McGee, who is the bestest at the school sport that anyone oh, hey, could possibly be, while still be being a man. social outcast for some reason. Honestly, it depends Welcome on the book. Sometimes he's a social outcast, sometimes everybody loves him. It mostly came to a head in Goblet of Fire, where it was like, oh, that's understandable. Hogwarts already had its champion, and here comes Harry, what the fuck is going on with Harry's neck? <laughs> but then he wins? Question mark, does he win that? He doesn't win that. No one wins, right? Uh, technically, yes, and Cedric loses horribly. <laughs> he got killed by a... Everyone loses. I'm just trying to make sure. Three, two, one. People hated him outside of the whole like you murdered Cedric thing, but like, you know, people at least were taking him seriously after uh, Goblet of Fire because I mean, then at that point, that's when he was trying to rile up a, a child army. So you know, he had to have some sort of uh, some sort of standing socially by at that point. Was it Antifa? Kind of funny. No, I just love the Rift Tracks explanation for how Cedric died. He was blasted by a fat buck tooth man holding an evil baby. Pretty accurate. Excellent. It was a rat man, excuse you. Fair enough. Yay, we got these. You can get more of these if you wish to continue the training, but the game only forces you to do the basic stuff, so uh, I'll do the rest off screen. Here's the first you can get more of these little wings if you talk to the pilot and are a good boy. Ah, I see. Wow, Jesus Christ, no, don't like these controls. Oh, God. That seemed a little bit finicky, which is hilarious considering the uh, the GameCube controls for the uh, the broom are actually incredible. It's really fun flying about on the broom in the, uh, in, in the GameCube version. So Harry, which one did you prefer? You hold so my maze. Oh, or Superman, or Lex Luthor, even the greatest wizard of our time. You, you know, I'm gonna go with the broom that doesn't leader. control you like shit. From the options screen, you've completed basic Quidditch training and now can play in the Quidditch league. Nah, I'm Let's good. No Quidditch league in this playthrough. Sorry, lads. You've completed basic Quidditch. Oh, is it training. not? Would you nope. Like well, there is, but I'm not doing it. Good session, Harry. It's non-canonical. Are always open for you. because uh, I think in the um. In the GameCube version, it's all, all Quidditch is compulsory. <laughs> it's all Quidditch. There actually isn't a Harry Potter. There's not even a Chamber of Secrets. It's just Quidditch. Uh, going back to Rift Tracks for a second, they I call uh, Quidditch know. the pod it's racing of Harry idea. Potter. Would you, you say that's accurate, guys? I beat some Fred before. Uh, yeah. Anyway, 
Absolutely. <laughs> there is no better way to describe Quidditch other than the pod racing of Harry Potter. Because I don't really add anything to the movie. Like, I guess you could argue at a push it's world building, but it doesn't really advance the plot in any way. No. I mean, it's, it's literally just there to be a, a weird sport that... It's there for the video game. At, at that point, it's fair enough to say it was there for the video game. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Alright, Ron, you wanna fucking yeah. throw down? Let's go, mate. Oh, I love the part where we straight up murder Ron and then have to bring him back with magic, <laughs> thus violating more school rules. Violating more than the school rules, I think. There's no magic that can bring back the dead. I mean, there's the resurrection stone, but that's more like bringing back a pale imitation of them. <laughs> but, but that's a deal with the literal devil, and, uh, I mean, I feel Harry Potter's about that lifestyle. But it's still a kid's book for now. What do you mean for now? That's ominous. you got to explain, right? No, I, I get what Maxi means, is that at this stage in the Harry Potter narrative, it was still very much a kid's book. That oh, was, like, right. While there was life-threatening situations, it wasn't... It, it was still with a child's eye. Yeah, it was still very kid-friendly. It was only really from Prisoner of Azkaban onwards that it started to get darker. Um, and then, really, it kind of went full-on grimdark from... I don't know whether it's necessary, whether it's Order of the Phoenix or Half-Blood Prince, but one of the two is where it sort of goes, yes, now everything is gritty and serious. The meme spoiler is a character death. Like, yeah, outside it, like, now. just on that bare bones alone, like, it just kind of at least tells you a little bit about the series. I'd say Order of the Phoenix, because the thing as a whole feels a lot more angsty and uh, cynical, I, I would say, I guess. But that, that's mostly because Harry's in a room. Have you heard that Slytherin have a new seeker? I wonder who it could be. I just always loved just that Chamber of Secrets was basically like the first the book, season. but like a mystery. It, yeah. it, it felt like a, a, the, you, there's a very heavy genre twist as opposed to, you know, the purpose of the first book was for, you know, ex, uh, explanation and like introduction to all the things. So then by the time you get to the second book, like we're familiar with the turns, familiar with the places. So then like the book decides to take all these characters and it's like, well, what if there was a murder? mystery in the school and Harry has to figure it out and then like yeah once you say once you get to the third and fourth book then we start to get more of the uh the big mystery then we start to get the big plot of the series but like I think it's just kind of cute just what the plot of the first 2.5 books of the series were kind of like going with yeah, sorry, no, I just love that sprite of Ron belching slugs. Obviously, in the book, Disgusting. this happens as well, because um, when Ron crashed into the Whomping Willow, his old one kind of got almost snapped in half, so uh, it's not working as it should. When trying to, uh, you know, jinx Malfoy for using the full-throated hard M against Hermione, it kind of backfired on him. Yeah, also, can I just say that I, I'm loving the, the sprites in the sense of those are basically pictures of Daniel Radcliffe and um, Rupert Grint yeah. um, from the films, just slightly pixelised and with a couple of little things added, i.e. the glasses being, I think, drawn on and the, the, the puke. This is 90s video game engineering at its finest. Very much so. Do you have video or footage asset that you can use to just put into your game? You damn well better be using that. Well, like I, I don't even see like as a like I know like you know the angry video game trope would be like uh lazy, but it's like no, dude. Like video games take time and money to make. If you can save yourself that by using just shit from the movie, use shit from the movie. Yeah. Also, to be honest, like the kind of whole point of what people expect from movie tie-ins or even literature tie-ins is as much content from the thing that it's based on as is humanly possible. I just love that Ron's face literally looks like it was edited for a Newgrounds cartoon or something. Like, it's fantastic. I love it. Now, the funny thing about this is, if you lose Ron, like, if he gets too far ahead, 
you have to start the section over again. But Ron never deviates from the correct path to Hagrid, so he would have got there just fine on his own. I was wondering what the, the whole point of this particular sequence was. It's just like, is this a race against Ron? Are we just trying to keep, just keep an eye on him as he goes? What are we doing? Because the way it's like set up in terms of the uh, kind of hood is that it's a, it's a race, but it's it's clearly not intended to be so. <laughs> it's the buddy system. But no, it's like they had to... Because again, like they needed to make video game stuff, yeah. and there are races in video games. But they're like, wait, no, that's that's not how this even works. Eh, just keep it in. Right, Harry, we gotta let these. <laughs> I love that JPEG the of Dumbledore on the wall. Amazing. I loved like because they did it in the first game, where like portraits of the characters are just like really cool, like cartoons of them, versus having the the worst, arguably 3D models of them. <laughs> Oh, we're catching the slugs! Yes! Jesus. Oh, you gotta fill your bucket! Because your bucket can get too full of slugs! I love this mini game, it's so disgusting. I gotta just pour them out into there. I'll make a jam out of them later, Harry. Hagrid, do you have like some booties or maybe some gloves? Because this, this looks like it's gonna get messy. I feel like this is set up slightly poorly because obviously it's not that you can you, you can't catch all of the slugs because there's not enough time, and it, that just sort of feels wrong. Richie, Richie, it's a metaphor for life. All right, what you don't know is that Cham Terry Potter Chamber of Secrets for the PlayStation One is an arts game, and that right there was a metaphor for the struggles of life. I guess so. If you want all the slugs, you'll end up with no slugs. And that life sometimes throws more slugs than you can possibly ever hope to catch. You just had to accept that you caught all the slugs that you could. Anyway, a children's book about wizards, and the video game that was subsequently made, you know, by, about it. There are some wizards who think they are better than everyone else because they're... So yeah, this is the whole race war aspect of Harry Potter. They start early. Thanks for defending me, Ron. What it's can we say, but yikes. Yeah, it just, obviously, it, 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 it gets worse because you've got, like, the, the whole thing of, yeah, being called a mudblood is a bad thing. Obviously, yes, it is. But then, like, everyone but Hermione, really, is A-OK -okay with the elves being enslaved. you got against Professor Lockhart. He's a fantastic teacher. It's like once you set up a hierarchy of life, you, you kind of create these types of issues. Richie, let me explain to you a term called the status quo. I mean, <laughs> it's the whole re reason Pluto doesn't wear pants. Oh my god. Is, is he actually sapient, but he's just kind of devolved into his role as a servant? Don't don't think about it. Like no, like it's a much darker question than what it first appears. Like just just let it be. All right. The upper castle, so quiet and full of owls. Oddly full of owls, I have to say. Like, shouldn't they be just like in the owl room? Yeah, it's like I couldn't understand it if that, but uh, not for them just to be constantly flying about everywhere in the castle unless, you know, they're, they're constantly delivering letters. You know, to Malfoy, owls are higher up in the cast system than uh, Hermione is right now. Uh-oh. But only if it's, a f like, a, a pure-blooded owl. Oh, of, of course. Because if it's not pure-blooded, it's not okay. Don't want to see no fucking snowy cross with a hornbill, alright? I'm watching you. It's like so many topics, so many topics, so illy equipped really to handle any lesson. of them. The Harry Potter series it's was like just Jesus. Uh, <laughs> it tried, it tried, it tried so hard. I've seen worse table. handling in other <laughs> series. <Are you laughs> Hermione, look, all right. I heard the ghost of racism going? back there saying it wanted to kill us. Oh, it's it's going again. The voices have started. Anyway. Lesson time. Let's just ignore all that and continue with scholastic activities. And I mean, with like the, the most beautiful and brave wizard of all time, he's Gilderoy Lockhart. He sure is. But first, we must do a race. First, video games. 
over here onto the floating table. Yeah. These knights never get their man. I, I remember them being much more dangerous than Philosopher's Stone. They probably were. All I can think of is just 50 hertz slide theme. It's just the, the agony. The pure agony. Jesus. Speaking of, I'm really glad they announced that the N64 and Mega Drive games on Nintendo Switch Online are going to be 60 hertz because people were really worried to begin with. And then they announced the price. What the fuck were you fucking thinking, Nintendo? I love a bra the brave direction Nintendo is going in acknowledging that a family can be six gay furries sharing a Nintendo Online account. Very brave move of them. Well, you know how rich furries are from all the commissions and whatnot they purchase. Only the suspiciously rich ones, though, I find. <laughs> I love the use of the word suspicious. On, the I'm coming, I'm coming. Jesus fucking Christ, you distracted me with how handsome you were. You're gonna be late. No, don't worry about it. So long as I'm there before we uh, cross that uh, red tick threshold, we'll uh, get the special thing. Oh, that's good. There you go, you just got to beat the score record. Yeah, but now you got to do it again faster if you want to get well the gold done, symbol. Harry. No. I knew you'd be the first to get to my Could you imagine if, if the Harry Potter series worked on a Crash Bandicoot, like, 103% logic? Oh do it again, God. but do it even, oh, even faster? That would be awful. There was a brief period when I was 100%ing um, the Crash games on uh, Switch, the Insane Trilogy, where I tried to do some of the relics. Jesus Christ, I don't know how some of you cope. Like, I don't know how Kid Icarus got all of those platinum relics. Yeah, there's, there's a reason that I decided I was not going to even attempt to get all the gems in uh, Crash Bandicoot. And it's like, yeah, no, I think I'm alright, thanks. Gems are a fucking piece of cake compared to the relics, mate. Oh, I, I am sure they are, but uh, still, and... Uh, Wow, this classroom has only five students. This is this is excellent. It's an exclusive class, excuse you. You had to have your parents sign a waiver to get into this class. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times. It's actually at the, his request. <laughs> the professor's like, I just don't want too many kids around me. Gross. Splendid! Uh, don't forget, you got to hit just right to get perfect, and the more perfect she gets, the better chance you have of getting that A grade and getting the special prize. Just like school in real life. I I didn't get many A's when I was in school. Shocking, I know. Also, just like school in real life. <laughs> I didn't get an A, and I don't know why. Oh no. Oh yes, I liked that and my expensive wand did as well. <laughs> Professor, are you talking about your penis? Is the wand your penis? <laughs> Maybe, Harry. You'll never know. Off I go to direct four for some fucking reason. But honestly, the Chamber of Secrets movie is worth watching for the dude who plays Gilderoy Lockhart alone. Kenneth Branagh is excellent as Gilderoy Lockhart. National treasure. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, the amount of British national treasures that ended up in the Harry Potter series is kind of insane. A great it's a collection of Congratulations. them. Yeah. You've earned the defense against I would the argue Darts that if someone was like, I can work. only watch, like, well okay, one, the situation done. is Ellen, but, you know, someone's like, I can only watch one Harry Potter movie, which one do I watch? I'd argue just Chamber of Secrets, because you don't really need all of the, the intro nanigans of, like, the first movie. You can just get into Hogwarts. Like, I fully argue that someone could watch Chamber of Secrets and would be able to pick everything up without needing Sorcerer's Stone, like, I... No, I agree, yeah. Um, I still prefer Philosopher's Stone to Chamber of Secrets, both as a book and movie. There, there was just something less magical, and I think it's just, like, sequel-itis. Like, the first one was just so fresh and new that I just clicked with it better. But I, I wouldn't say, like, Chamber of Secrets is the worst in the series. That might be Order of the Phoenix. Well, considering that's the one that I never actually finished, I think that says it all. Looks like Lockhart wants but it's to the one with time travel, my dude. The one with time travel, where they try to explain it, and it only makes things worse. 
Seems... Your wand has to be fully charged to stun a pixie. Petrificus Titalis. You can only levitate him when he's been stunned. There aren't many books that I have him. ever Leviosa. stopped reading and Steal never touched again. Um, but that is oh. one of them. Now you try with the I have a bad one, habit of doing that to all books. All things, Isn't actually. The, the, the only other okay, one I'll that I can best. specifically think of is Hard Time by me. Charles Dickens. But I'll get, I'll finish that one eventually because I feel that uh, it, it is my a duty to at some point have read every novel by Charles Dickens. But obviously they're quite long and there's quite a lot of them, so that'll be a, a project for, for life, really. Fair enough. Very good, that Arthur. man survived, hey, alright, on the money of every upstairs. word he printed on those pages, alright? So you appreciate it. Those were the words that kept that man fed. Oh, exactly. Alright, we got the beans, we got the Wiganweld potion, fuck yes. Got that drank. Alright, now it's time to get <laughs> fucking wasted and capture some pixies. And then Harry Potter was able to shoot out fireballs. Oh wait, he was already able to do that. Flippendo. Oh, speaking of, um, someone informed me that apparently Malfoy says Flippendo in The Cursed Child. Fair enough. Oh man, the play. How have we not talked about the play? God. Well, can we save that for a future part? Maybe when we run out of commentary? Because I'd rather not refer to the Cursed Child as much as possible. <laughs> Why not? It's canon. <laughs> Why is everything so slippery in this game? Like, Jesus, the, the cleaning staff of Hogwarts do a very good job. You mean Filch? Because it's just Filch for the whole castle. Is it just the one? <sighs> See, again, this this is why other things are so much better than Harry Potter. Like, well, Little Witch Academia did it right with the whole like magical crew of employees that all decided to go on strike for a raise. Like, that's how you do labor in a magic school. Actually, I tell a lie. The house elves do a lot of the stuff as well, but uh, F Filch complains about it a lot, so I assume he has some hand in uh, cleaning stuff up. It's just him and the cat. Just, just to throw it in that you are right about uh, Draco using Flippendo um, in the Cursed Child, because um, it's noted on the Harry Potter wiki. Well, there you go. Um, it is specifically Act Two, Scene Thirteen of um, well oh, it doesn't say which uh, which part, Is but Act Two, Scene Thirteen of one of the one of the parts. Of That's mind. cool. Twenty points to Gryffindor. See, we cite our sources. <sighs> I guess. Have some more points. Never mention the cursed child again. <laughs> and we'll see you next time for more of Chamber of Secrets.